Welcome to Gears and Bricks. We are going to learn a little bit about suspension systems and the different techniques that I've learned for suspension, as well as the variations of springs that LEGO offers. So let's dive in. Let's start with this guy. You may have seen one of these. This is a LEGO Technic spring. So, and then just like it, these came in different colors. Same tension, just different colors. In addition, there are springs like this one. It's a little bit harder to push down. It's a higher tension spring because it has more coils. So comparing it's the same, it is the same compression distance, but the yellow one is much more difficult to press than the gray one or the red one. Lego also has produced this spring. It's a little bit longer and it has different geometry. It's a similar compression strength to this one. It's just a longer travel distance. And in addition to the off-center axle connector here, there's also an axle connector here. One of the techniques I learned is to take one of these special technique axles, technic axles with the ball at the end. Snap it in there. And now you can have a pivot. So for some off-center weird angle suspension systems. Another that Lego has produced is this one. Now this one is a little bit more akin to a real automobile spring or shock absorber in that it actually has a cushion and it behaves slower. It, it extends back slower, unlike the other ones because of the air cushion. There is a variation of this part, a variant of this part that doesn't have the spring and it can be compressed and then drawn back out. And it is also useful. It's used in the, the Lego Star Wars V19, V19 Torrent, the one without springs. <clears throat> this one's a little bit different. So these are compressions, uh, compression and extent, uh, well, these are compression springs. Extension springs are the ones you pull out. They usually have hook ends or loop ends. This one is different. This is a coil spring. You can see it there. And if we, there's two anchor points. It's one stud thick, three studs long, and two studs deep. Now, if we take An axle with a lever here and stick it through. We can turn it 90 degrees and it returns to center. 90 degrees and it returns to center. This one is tough to turn. It's been used in steering systems, return to center steering systems, in older Technic sets like go karts. It has also been used in the hockey figures where the hockey stick is swung back and forth in some of the Lego Technic sports crossover sets and it can also be used as a suspension system or maybe a 
tensioner for a belt. There's another one. This is a little bit different. So I developed this on my own. You can see the simple construction there using one of these on each side for stronger axle. And I really could move this whole axle up one stud or really move the whole construction. I'd have to move the whole construction up one stud to add another set of these on the other side. But instead I just put that. And this axle does spin, spree, uh, spin freely. It is pretty sturdy. It, do, it does allow twisting a little bit. So I've got plans to make that stronger. But you stretch a single rubber band between the thin lift arms on each side. Run a pin through. And then I just use the balls, the, the ball pins, instead of regular pins, because that's what I had available. But this suspension is awesome for things like tracked vehicles. So you have tracks running along, and that would be a really wide track, but nonetheless, super cool. And it can take a lot of abuse. Anyway, <laughs> well, I hope you found this video fun. Please subscribe if you did. Find it entertaining, educational, inspiring, what have you. And Hit the notification bell so you know when things like this get posted again. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.